Hello friends, welcome back to our channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, we will see how we can copy files from SharePoint document library to Azure Blob Storage using Power Automate. I will directly jump to my SharePoint site. Uh, this is my SharePoint site called PUC and this is our document library. Inside this, I created one folder called archive. Over here, I have four sample documents which I want to move or copy to the Azure blob storage the entire process i am going to do with the help of power automate but before using power automate let's move to this azure portal over here what i will do i will create a blob storage so i'll show you how you can create a blob storage as a first step what you will do you will create a resource group in your azure if you already have any resource group you can use that and if you want to create a separate resource group you can create using these steps which i will showcase over here click on resource group and then from the ribbon click on create over here it will automatically pick your subscription if you have multiple subscription you can select from the drop down then you have to give the resource group name i will give demo as your blob or i will keep a very simple name i will give demo 15 july that's it so that's the uh, today's date and demo region i will keep the default one east us if you want to change you can change i will next i'll click on review plus create and i will click on create button and this will create my resource group now i will go to this resource group this is demo 15 july and inside this i will do the next steps now what i have to do Inside this resource group, I will click on create and what it will give, it will show, showcase me all the Azure services which are uh, available for me or which I can, uh, you know, create inside this resource group. So over here, I will search, I will search uh, Azure or I will say storage. Let me search for the storage. Okay, so I've got this result called storage account. Microsoft Azure service use blobs tables queues files. So I'll select this I'll click on this create button now what I'm doing after creating a resource group inside the resource group I am creating a storage account Again a subscription automatically picked resource group. Uh, we have created storage account name. I will give uh, SharePoint files SharePoint POC files. This is my storage account name. And one thing to notice over here, it will uh, take only small case letters without any special characters and numbers. Other thing is region, I will keep it as unchanged. Next, so what I will do, I will just give the name and I will leave all the other options as it is. I will click on next button, advance. Again, all the options I will leave as it is until unless there is some mandatory field which i have to provide i will click on next 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 one thing over here is encryption type if you want to uh, use the microsoft manage keys just go with this option in case you want to have your own customer manage key you want to use your own keys for the encryption you can use this other option so what i am doing i am going with the, all the default options And over here, I will click on create. So I have just given the storage account name. So now uh, the process got started within a few minutes. Our storage account will also be ready. Guys, deployment is in progress. It will take some time. I can see this deployment succeeded button over here. So our this storage account is ready. Go to resource. And inside this, I can see my uh, storage account that is SharePoint POC files ready. Now over here I can upload my files but before that what I will do inside this storage account I will create one container and inside this container I am going to move everything container and I have to give the container name name I will give pure arch archive POCs archive POC archive is my folder name in SharePoint and POC is the site collection name so I randomly pick this name and over here you can mention it will only accept lowercase letters so just make sure 
access level uh, private and click on create so right now uh, my main focus is not to showcase you how you know effectively you can create the storage account and other things my main focus is just to give you a rough idea how you can create azure blob storage into uh, azure and then how we can move files from sharepoint to azure using power automate so guys our storage account is ready with container and uh, now we'll move to the power automate section just before i move to the power automate section let me give you a brief what we have done so far I have created one resource group over here demo 15 July inside this resource group I have created one storage account SharePoint POC files after creating a storage account I have inside the storage account I have created a container called POC so if you go to containers you will find a container called active POC and inside this I am going to move my files now I am inside my power automate and I am inside my environment DS tech mirror. I will click on instant cloud flow. I will choose this trigger manually trigger a flow and flow name would be copy files from SharePoint to Azure. Create. Now as a new step what I have to do I have to get the files from my SharePoint is from this folder and there are multiple files over here. So what I will do I will use one action which is present in SharePoint that is get files. Let me select SharePoint just to make it simple and over here I will get that action called get files. Here it is get files. So select this action give the site address name that is my site is the POC site library name default one documents library and I have to limit it this to one particular folder that is the archive folder so I will select the folder from here and my folder is inside the shared documents archive so this is also done now what I have to do I have to move the files from SharePoint to Azure for that I have to use an action called from Azure create blob and you could see the section create blob version 2 we will use this section as your blob storage now over here first thing is the authentication type we have to establish the authentication between this power automate and our azure and you could see there are multiple options over here service principle authentication azure ready integrated and access key so in this particular video i will use this access key authentication once you have selected this then what you have to do you have to get this access key from the azure so go to your uh, blob storage that is sharepoint poc files and from the left navigation under security you will find this access key click on this access keys and here you can see this key show and copy this key then you can paste this key over here as your storage account access key also you have to mention the Azure storage account name. What is this account name? It is SharePoint POC files. I'll copy this. Then you can click on create. So what it will do? It will create a connection with the Azure blob storage. And it has done. Now you could see over here storage account name. If you will expand this automatically you will get this SharePoint POC file. So our authentication is established. Now we have to provide the folder path. So just see the folder path available. Automatically it will pick active POC because this is the folder or this is the container which we have created inside it. See, so over here uh, what from the folder path we are mentioning inside this particular container, I want to move my files. What is the blob name? Blob name is the file name which we want to pass. So over here you have to select the file name and the blob content and the file content. So one important thing to notice over here is blob name you will get this from this particular action from the dynamic properties. If you will search file, see file name with extension and name you will get. But what about the content? Content you are not going to get from this particular action. So we have to use one more particular action to get the content. So 
I'll add one more action called get content. Get file content. Select this particular action. Again, site address, same. QC site. And next, what I have to do, I have to provide the file identifier. File identifier, again, I will get this from this uh, get files action. So if you will search over here, identifier, you will get it. And remember, we have multiple files over here. So the moment I will select this identifier, which is coming from this particular action, automatically it will add a loop over here. And you could see this loop over here. And now what we have to do, we have to move this action also inside the loop. Because what it will do, uh, it will read uh, the file content one by one and it will start moving them to the Azure blob. Now I will expand again. I'll give the file name. Again, file content and file content is available with us. Okay. First, let's select the file name. This is the name and content file content. So I think that's it. I'll click on save. Now I will quickly test this flow. I'll click on test manually and test. Continue run flow. Done. So we can see this uh, first two steps got triggered and they are successful. This loop is running. Let's see there are four files. And what it should do, it should create all these four files in the Azure and our flow got executed successfully. Now let's go to our Azure. I'm inside this active PUC container. I'll refresh it. And you could see it has successfully moved all our files inside this particular container inside the Azure blob storage. So now if you want to read these files, what you can do, you can select, you can download them. You can read them over here. They are, you know, uh, extremely secure. So this is one particular way through which you can create a backup of your files from SharePoint to Azure. If you want to see the properties, you can click on this particular document. Over here, you will see the properties related to this particular document. If you want to download, you can download the document from here. So guys, that's it uh, for today's video. Just to before I close it, I will give you a quick review what we have done so far. So what we have done inside Azure, we have created one resource group. Inside resource group, we have created one Azure uh, blob storage. And inside that Azure blob storage, we have created a container. So this is my blob storage, storage account. And inside this storage account, I have got one container. Container, you can understand kind of a folder structure I have. So this is one of my container. And then inside this uh, SharePoint site, I've got four sets of document. Using this Power Automate flow, I create a copy of this documents to Azure storage account. Inside this flow, what we have done, it's a manual trigger. Then we have used this action called get file properties. What it will do, it will give me all the files present in a folder. Then using loop, I've read the content and pass it to the create blob action to which what it will do it will create the file into the azure storage account thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till then much love keep learning thank you